I stand with them to save this universe. Xi'an, listen to me. Accept my words, Xi'an. If you reject me, you will die. Kevin, listen to me. I cannot be with you. I am no longer your tool to play with. I see. But I will not hand you over voluntarily. Instead, I will eliminate those who confuse you. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenosaga Episode 3. It is time to finally, finally, finally put an end to this abusive relationship that Xion finds herself in. And unfortunately, Jin is injured right now. That kind of sucks. Um, Alright, well, first of all, uh, let's go ahead and put up Best Ally. This is not going to be like the previous... Uh... Oh, hey. Uh, this is not going to be like the previous battle. Do my words not reach you? Not anymore. Kevin, I won't return to you anymore. Ether Drive. Ether Drive. All right, his dam his attacks uh, will do a lot of damage. Case in point, and uh, ethers have now been sealed for Jin. Um, techs or not, uh, I can do a follow through. Um, yeah, let's do that. Um, let's see. I kind of want to get rid of the, uh, uh, that, well, oh, I need to, uh, heal everyone up, actually. I don't need to, I mean, I do have best ally up, but then I'd have to put another best ally up, so. Uh, let's see, I have refresh, recover status effects on all allies, seems like a good thing to do. Okay. So he absorbs fire, he's strong against ice and lightning, so we want to focus wi on uh, physical and beam attacks. Physical attacks are the easiest, and I'm not entirely sure why I didn't put up a... Uh... My, uh, um, master skills, but let's go ahead and do that. That actually did quite a bit of damage there. Um, let's see. You know, I think EP Vamp is free normally. Alright, well I want to steal from him, although I think I already have the item. Yeah, Velvet Panier. I think that's what Xion currently has equipped. But, hey, it's there to steal, so... Alright, W Fang! Oh, interesting. He doesn't count as human. I wonder if that would work. Ooh, critical. Nice. I don't know if we're gonna do a whole, whole lot of, uh, um damage this way, but... I mean, break damage, you know what I mean? 
So he has 52,000 hit points. Uh, FYI. An empty life is more terrifying than death. Kevin is preparing for a special attack. And he curses. Okay, well, let's go ahead and guard. Let's go ahead and guard. Hmm, I should have healed. Oh well. Immoral Meridian! Oh. <laughs> Holy! Thank you. Okay, well, good to know that um, <laughs> we wouldn't be able to survive that no matter what. All right. Um, let's get Best Ally back up. I mean, Shion might actually be able to if it counts as physical. Uh, I don't really need to refresh. Oh, uh, so we're not going to be able to see uh, D. Teneritas either, since it's a fire ether attack. He's focusing on that. And he does Overtaker. Ether Drive. Let's see, everyone does have. Uh, reflect damage. Everyone does have uh, um, best ally on, so that's important. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh. Yeah, I think I'll just end up uh, having Xion do healing and stuff like that for most of this. Ow. Boost is sealed now. Well, I don't really care about that that much. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be breaking this guy. Destructive impulse. Ow. Medic arrest. Kevin is preparing for a special attack. All right, I don't think it matters, really. Oh, and you curse again. Well, two people are affected by uh, um, by things, so that makes uh, it even more worthwhile to uh, restore us. Actually, I probably should have put on uh, her thing. Bye, Jin. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for doing twelve thousand damage to me. I appreciate it. The good thing is that it takes care of uh, his break damage, so that's kind of nice. Blood Dancer. Fresh. Alright, we'll take care of that. Even though I don't really plan on using food. Oh, and you go and use Heaven's Tracker. Critical hits now guaranteed. Well, aren't you special? That really makes a huge difference in damage. It really, really does. Ether drive. See, everyone does have best ally. Up, oh, good. All right. I think rather than uh, a spell. Oh, those are outside combat only. Well, shoot. I only have four of those. Well, I'll definitely, definitely need to go buy more. Ether pack M on Jin. 
So they really are Omega Souls. Hmm. For some reason, I thought they could be used in battle. Whatever. How you doing? Um... Not a finished strike. Okay, Abyss Walker. Physical attacks are now ineffective. Well, shucks. No physical, huh? Uh, is there something that I want to do? Well, let's play it safe and do Phantom Fly. It's functionally free, so why not? Hmm. Well, and of course you do not have beam. Uh, I guess I'll do satellite too. <coughs> All right, you are almost dead, so let's do X Buster. I will not miss. Oh, you will not miss. All right, that's for sure. And a finished strike. Now Shira, get that. Come back to me. Now get the hell out of here, Kevin. Levels for everyone. And a Kajic ring. Don't actually know what that does. Is that your will? Yes. Is this really the result you desire? Yes. Kevin. Xi'an, you're confused. By you? You're unable to make calm decisions about where you stand. You're just a gross manipulator. Please stop. I don't want to fight you. Y you kind of already did. Xi'an, I don't want to hurt you either. You've heard her a ton. Why can't you understand my feelings? Stand down, Kevin Winnicott. Time's up. Wilhelm! It seems I expected too much from you, Kevin. <sighs> Kevin! Database update. I think this may be the final update. Congratulations, you've completed the database. Indeed, we have Kevin Winnicott, child. Kevin has a young child. Upon the destruction of Planet Mictum, Kevin escaped in a pod alone. He was supposedly found clutching a pendant thought to be a memento of his mother. His subsequent encounter with Wilhelm vastly altered the course of his life. Kevin's mother. A woman who lived on planet Mictum, Kevin's mother. She beca became a gnosis at the time of Mictum's destruction. Is that... is that really it? Just those two? Well... That's all we had. Okay, so yes, we have completed the, uh, the database. Um, we will get something if we head back. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, but first let's take a look at the uh, items that we picked up. Let's see... Um... Incidentally... That is indeed... Kevin is indeed the second to last ball boss. The penultimate boss. And only now do we get Ziggy's ultimate weapon. Go figure. Um... Ziggy really gets kind of screwed in a lot of these games. I, I feel kind of bad. Um... What was I going to look at? Oh yes, uh, equipment. Newly acquired. Uh, yes, so I got another velvet pan pannier. Pannier? I don't know, whatever. Um, 
Five stones is half physical. Uh, research uniform. Uh, special armor that changes the character model. This is, of course, the... Uh, um, what she looked like in the... Uh, Utic uniform. White shirt. Special armor that changes the character model. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, take a look at that in a moment. Uh, Union ring. Null enemy guard. Null enemy evade. Not bad. Would not be bad for someone like Jin, although I don't know that he's ever really missed. And a Kajic Ring, EP plus 300. That would actually be pretty good for, uh, like, Cosmos or Jin, because they blow through EP in these battles, even with the half EP thing. Alright, so. Uh, formation. Oh, Xion is still in the lead. Alright, so. Equipment. And yeah, we, we got another velvet panier. Panier, whatever. Alright, research uniform. Yep. So now we can run around in that outfit. And you may, some of you may be guessing what the white shirt is. Yes. Yep. Xion can run around wearing nothing but a man's white shirt. Hmm. Really boosts up luck. Uh, research uniform really boosts up uh, uh, agility. That is a lot better than uh, for luck. That is that is pretty impressive. Eighty-five luck. I kind of wish I knew what. Uh, I kind of wish I had a better idea of what luck did in the game. Um, the research uniform might actually be really good in uh, ES combat, but of course, we are not going to be doing ES combat. Did not actually mean to equip it again. Alright, so I am going to pause the episode here. I'm going to run back to the Elsa. We will get the uh, last two items, and then I'll probably break it again and make my way back here. So going to be a little bit before I see you again, but it'll be uh, instantaneous for you. Interestingly, it really didn't take that much time to get back. Uh, then again, I did have it on uh, frame delimiter. Oh, you really brought me... <clears throat> oh, you really brought me 99 Sephirotic canes? Okay, I'll give you this present just like I promised. Acquired Gnosis Nail. I think I'll go all out on this one. Here, you can have this too. Acquired Power Heal. Okay. Newly acquired. Gnosis Nail is a weapon for Ziggy, of course. And Power Heal is a ring. Uh, null enemy guard, null enemy evade, and hit point drain. Um, did we have something like that? Maybe I was thinking of that. And, and Power Leech and Life Demon. That, well, yeah, stuff like that, I guess. Okay. Uh, equipment. Gnosis Nail. Uh, break limit goes down a little bit. Uh, ether attack goes up uh, quite a bit. And strength goes up by a hell of a lot. Uh, vitality goes down a little bit, though, unfortunately. But, you know, hey. How do you like my present? Isn't it fabulous? I've heard there are other ultimate weapons besides Ziggy's too. You might want to look for them. Uh, I already found them. In fact, I don't know why you made me wait so long to get Ziggy's. Yeah, whatever. Ziggy would probably be uh, really kick-ass at this point, though. I'm sure... <clears throat> I'm sure you're f feeling a lot of things right now, but hang in there. This is probably the final battle. When this fight ends, we may find the real meaning of being alive. I don't think you're actually alive there, Bunny, but, you know, hey. Alright. You have anything new to say? Our voyage this time has been one scare after another. I almost ran away several times along the way. 
But you didn't give up? No, it wasn't anything admiral like that. I just got caught by the professor and couldn't get away. Way to go, Scott. Way to go. The professor is still talking about the dark professor. Alright. Uh, I believe we're looking for Guinness. I think it's a robot that's over here. Oh, no, no. Wow, way to go. You completed your database. In honor of the effort you put into the, uh, put forth to complete it, I'll give you a present. We got Kibby Sis. I'm not sure exactly what, the, what type of item that was. Other than the book. A necklace. Max boost plus 3. Hip, max hit points plus 1,500. EP plus 300. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm going with that. Hell yeah! It's only EP plus 50. Um, I'm going to need that, though, uh, for the final battle. So we will stick with that. I'll just have to... Uh, I'll just have to give uh, um, Cosmos uh, EP items. Yep, I already got that. All right. So that should be um, everything that we can actually do up to this point in the game. I don't think there's anything else that we can actually do. Uh, as long as we're here, we'll go ahead and talk to uh, some of the other people. See if uh, Mary and Shelley and Hammer and Tony and uh, uh, Matthews have anything to say. Is it okay for you to be hanging around here? You'd better do something about that giant thing before it's too late. That thing's a monster. If we defeat that, I wonder if the people who turned into Gnosis will return to normal. I don't know. It didn't happen that way in Xenogears. I think that, uh, you know, all the people, um, like, back on, uh, Fifth Jerusalem turning into Gnosis essentially was a reference to that. Saying anything different. You don't say anything different. I don't think there's anything in the uh, um, men's room. saying anything. <laughs> You've been saying this for like this entire disc, Spumoni. All saying the same thing. It seems there are secrets inside of you and Cosmos that Joachim was unable to tell me. You make your own fate. Don't lose to them. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Yuli. We're all counting on you. At this rate, the whole universe is going to be swallowed by the Gnosis. But it's strange the way the Gnosis are being drawn to Mictum. What are they after? Uh, probably the Zohar. They were kind of after the Zohar uh, in the first game. There we go. We've come this far, so we're we're gonna finish this. Anyway, there's gonna be Gnosis no matter where we go. The scale's on a whole different level this time. They're appearing everywhere in the Star Cluster. Guess we're all like a family now. Seems like it's been, it's been ages since the day when Cosmos grabbed onto the Elsa's cockpit. The Gnosis phenomenon has spread throughout the entire star cluster. I hope we can make contact with locations that haven't been affected yet. Gedalia, Milsha, 
It appears that all the primary star systems have undergone Gnosis transformation. I hope Miyuki's okay. Oh, I can't contact Miyuki. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Still only have up to Abel's Ark, interestingly enough. Um, I suppose since we can just leave here and go to the uh, physical places, it kind of makes sense, but still. Alright, let's see. Skill lines. Um, well, I'll probably figure out exactly how much I need to buy in order to get everything. I don't know that any of these uh, items are really going to be all that good. Um... Uh, I mean, stuff like the Enhance Ring and stuff like that could be pretty good, but, uh, an EP plus 300, maybe I'll buy one of these just in case. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't quite, oh no, this is, uh, so it would more than double, um, Cosmos's EP, but since I'd be getting rid of the half uh, EP thing anyway, eh, I don't know that it's really that much of a, you know, it's, I mean, it's kind of six of one, half dozen of the other. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I don't have any of these, but I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I really care about these. Um, I mean, again, these are rings, they're okay. Uh, the absorbers could be good. The uh, the final boss will be doing some elemental damage. Uh, let's see. Uh, looks like lightning and ice. But each of those is only against one target, so it's... Again, is that really worth it? Um, I, I don't think it really is. Uh, now... Yeah, neither of those would be really useful. The one that does, uh, lightning, fire, and ice, that could be useful. If we could get more of those. But I don't see those. Um... Yeah, I'm, there, there just really aren't any bracelets that uh, jump out at me as being all that worthwhile. Uh, no necklaces. I don't need any more armor. I don't think they put anything new here. We're basically equipped with all that. And uh, this is all uh, non-ultimate weapon stuff. So, yeah, there really is not much worth buying at this point, um, other than regular items. So I think what I'll end up doing, um, I will buy just enough of the upgrades, assuming that I actually have enough money. I mean, these are actually pretty expensive. It's 100 per skill point. Um, and anything left, I'll go for um, probably strength and ether attack upgrades. Um, and I'll probably sell a bunch of stuff uh, to maximize my money. I mean, I don't really need any more... Um, I don't need any of my, uh, like, ES repair items. So I might sell some of those. But um, I'll go over all of that when we uh, return um, back at the save point where we fought... Uh, Kevin, and then we'll continue on. And we're very close to ending the game. I imagine that it's probably going to take me a, an episode to get through the final battle and the, you know, all the, the uh, FMV leading up to it. Maybe a little bit afterwards, and then probably one, maybe even two for all of the uh, remaining, the final ending game uh, videos. Um, and then there will be an episode where I go over the data viewer, which is pretty cool. Uh, it lets you see all the models for everything. That's fun. Um, uh, I'll have a video of that. So, in the next episode, 
we'll be moving on to the final battle. See you then, everyone.